Congenital heart disease means that a patient is born with a heart defect, and there's many different types. <clears throat> some are less severe, uh, some are more severe, some do not require surgery, some do. Some require uh, therapy in the cardiac catheterization laboratory, uh, some get better on their own. Uh, so there's, there's many, many different types, but um, our program here, we, we are a full service program, so we have all of those um, services. We have a cardiac catheterization laboratory, um, electrophysiology laboratory, um, surgical services, of course, an intensive care unit specific for cardiac patients. So we do offer all that for all the different types. We actually meet children before they're even born. So we have a fetal uh, cardiology program where we do um, echocardiograms on pregnant mothers and, and identify if the fetus has a, has a heart defect so that if it's something severe, we can, you know, we can be prepared at the time of birth uh, to properly treat that child. Personally, I've operated on children on, the, on their day of birth, certainly in the first week of life. There are many um, congenital heart lesions that require a heart operation during the first week of life. And, uh, and then the range extends all the way into adulthood. So we operate on adults that, that were born with congenital heart disease. So different than my adult heart surgery colleagues that do coronary artery bypass grafting. And um, I do operate on some adults, but the their heart disease is specifically the type they were born with. Normally, most of these patients see the cardiologist first, and that's where they receive their diagnosis. And then we, um, every week we have a conference, a cardiologist and the surgical team, where we discuss patients that may need something done so that we can make a group decision on what the best course of action is. Uh, if we decide that they need an operation, then they will visit me in clinic. Uh, usually we can schedule the patient and they'll visit me the day before the operation um, and we'll discuss the operation so what to expect uh, in the operating room how long the operation will take how long the hospital stay will be uh, what the risks benefits possible complications are 